Hi, I've gotten a lot of requests to do some slide stuff. Now, this is a, uh, what's called a resonator guitar. You can do this on a regular guitar. There's no need for this, but this just has a cool sound, so that's why I'm using it. Now, I'm also in a D tuning. D tuning is an open D chord, and it's D, low string is D, then the A is the same, A, then D, the G string has come down to an F sharp. It would normally be there. And then the B string is to an A, and the high E string is down to a D. So lots of D's and A's. D, A, D, F sharp on the G string, the third fret. And then the B string, it's an A, Okay, so let's give you a couple of pointers about slides. First of all, the slide. I like to use a heavy slide. Mine is glass, but I have glass and metal. You can get them very thin, but I don't know, they just don't do the job. You really want to let the weight of the slide do the work. You don't want to have to press down. And what finger do you use? Well, people use all of them. Uh, a lot of people I know use the middle two. I use the pinky. But here's sort of the progression to do. Find a finger that your slide fits on. First of all, you got to find a slide. Or you can, you know, try a Coke bottle or some, something random around the house. But you want to just put the slide on the strings anywhere. It'll be very rattly. But then just coast up the neck. You don't want to be pushing down. The slide just wants to coast over the tops of the strings. So it's touching the strings, but you're not pushing down. If you hear this sound, you're actually pressing down and going over the frets. You don't. You want it to be smooth. Now, the other thing that you want to do, once you get the idea of just coasting, is with this hand, you want to put a finger or fingers behind the slide, meaning here's the slide and you're back here. So if you're on the third finger, for example, one of these two fingers. And why do you do that? Because as you can hear when I play a note or a chord, see how rattly that is? Because you're hitting the strings and they're bouncing off the slide. If you put a finger behind it, that really cuts down on that rattle. So there's with the finger, without it. It's funkier without it, but it's much cleaner with it. Okay. And the third thing you need to know about slide is when you press a note down on the guitar, let's take this note here, you see what's happening? You're bending the note over that fret. So. No matter where I push my finger down, it gets bent over that fret. So the note won't change. But with a slide, since I'm just coasting, it makes a big difference where I put it. If it's on the right over the fret, if you're looking down, where the slide hits the string wants to be right over the fret. If it's a little north or south, it's not going to be the right pitch. Okay? So that's really important. So the three things are don't push the slide down, let the weight of the slide do the work. Then behind the slide with a finger or fingers, you want to let them, again, they're not pushing down, they're just resting on the strings. And then the third thing is you want to be right over the fret to get the correct pitch. Okay, so let's do a simple blues. So we're going to play it in D because we're in open D. So D is open. G would be the fifth fret. Now I'm just taking my slide and I'm going up to the fifth fret. I'm lining it up right on top of that fret. 
Okay, so there's my D. There's a G chord. And then the other chord we're going to need is an A, which is the seventh fret. Some simple open versions of those are open D is just open. The G is first fret on the, the G string and second fret on the A string. You can also put the second fret on the B string as well if you want. But there's a D, there's a G, and then if you bring this finger down to the D string, just playing those two, that's an A chord. And just playing five strings. But since we're doing slide, I would recommend trying to do the bars. So here's a basic blues just strum if I'm going. That's a shuffle rhythm. One and two and three and four. So two, two, three, and then G. Eight measures long. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, and eight. I go to the A. Okay. And there's also a 12 bar blues, which is, I'm hoping you know this stuff, so because I'm going through it pretty fast. But a 12 bar blues would be D for four measures. One, two, 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 three, three, two, three, four, two, three, G for two measures. Pinching the top two strings. I'm going one, two, string, second to fourth fret. D, we got the D string, fourth fret, and we got that. So, sorry. What the heck was that? What I'm doing, I'm now up on the G, which is the fifth fret, and I slide up from fourth to fifth on the G string, then I hit the second string and then back to the third string, the G, and then the fourth string. Same thing on the A. Turn around.
There you go.